Manus fucking road. My friend Alan in front of me, I'm following him from Flemington. Town where I'm from. Uh, fucking yeah, so we're close to the fucking place where we're camping out for the night. Hopefully we see the Jersey Devil, we'll see. Your destination. All right, all right. Guess we're there. Yeah, they had a little path filled with ticks that goes right through fucking Pine Barrens. Yeah. All right, I guess we're here. All right. Made it to the fucking thing. Um, this is Alan. Great. He got his fucking dreads back. That's right. Um, finish my banana. Throw it in the woods. Make sure you take off the sticker. It's biodegradable. Oh. <laughs> That's why you were doing that. All That's, right. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what's this damn Momo doing? Yeah, it did. Yeah, first thing, yeah, it was Alistair Crowley. A fucking article I think it was. Yeah, it was like it was some private house, mm -hmm. kind of private drive. It, it, it said on Weird New Jersey that it was like at that intersection. Like I went to the intersection, I thought maybe there'd be, and it's like, you know, it's, like, who, you know, know, who knows? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I could pick any drive, but I'm like, I'm going to go up somebody's fucking driveway. Exactly. It's probably like a longest driveway. That's what, that's what it said. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame. I wish, uh, and you know, what. It's hard in town. It's probably some like four or some white person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm Scott. Yeah. Freaking Herbert. That's a nice Herbert. That is. Dude, that's like $250. Uh, $150. $150. Those big Class A's are like, yeah, you're like, well, you got to find them. Find them in the grand. These cabins are like pretty ripe for a horror movie, right? Fuck yeah. Like they don't, they don't get that much more like classic cabin in the woods vibe than this stuff, right? Yeah, no. I mean, you know, fucking um, 
the uh, those spots are just cheaper. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm sure those have a fire pit and shit in the back, but... Right, and, like, camping is way more... Like, it's, I don't know, like... Yeah, doing the cabin thing, like you said, it's been, like, it's been done. <laughs> yeah. It's more freaky, like, you get down in the woods versus, like, like, the devil's not gonna, like, come into your house, right? <laughs> is he? I don't know. <laughs> He's a big fucker. Yeah, uh, my favorite story was like he was the 13th child. I'll, I'll, I'll read all that shit. But he was like the 13th child of the Mary Leeds or something. And, like mm -hmm. it was an evil child. Either, like she cursed a child and then like it either came out evil or like it turned evil. <laughs> right, right, right. And it came out and then it flew, and then it flew up the grew rings and flew out the chimney. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I, so, awesome. Helen, I like that, like, oh, I'm going to find her and kill the first devil thing. And uh, she's like, oh, I did a report on it. And she's like, you know the whole story. I'm like, I do not. So I, like, just learned that shit yesterday. Yeah. Today? What day is today? Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, I learned all that stuff last yesterday. The lead 13th kid was born and then, like, fucking turned into nothing. <laughs> turned into a big red thing. <laughs> a big red thing. Oh, if he's oh, red, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. My fucking grandparents live down here. I keep asking, like, you guys, you guys, guess, 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 see it? Have you seen the Jersey Devil? Have you seen it? <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> yeah, I think we're just going right over here, I think. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah let's go right over here. There's a lot of cool shit around here. Yeah. It's devil droppings. Devil, I see devil droppings. They look suspiciously like pine cones, but I know the devil droppings. The devil needs some fiber. That's why he's so angry and he kills people. <laughs> Ooh, I've got some pain here. Yeah. Ooh, ah. I'm, a, I'm a Jersey Devil. <laughs> yeah, apparently the Jersey Devil is Al Pacino from Son of a Woman. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Don't say hoo ah and nobody, nobody knows. <sighs> Nobody. People not fucking see that movie. What's that? Ah, people haven't seen that movie. It's fucking awesome fucking movie. This is very nice. I wonder how deep it is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like that shit up. I wonder if this would be good fishing. Maybe, maybe not. It's probably pretty tan from all the pine needles. shitty yes indeed i know it's like i used to like kind of like it be like oh yeah it's gonna be i'm gonna be all cozy and stuff and now i'm just like this year in particular i don't know what it is i'm like fucking dreading the winter oh man let's see cool yeah pine barrens are fucking huge That is fucking huge. So where are we? Like, <laughs> shouldn't they have like a "you are here" thing? Well, all right. Well, here's LBI because I don't like to. Here's LBI. So in here, <laughs> okay. so we went in up. this general area, <laughs> in like, <laughs> I'll pull a picture of Earth, like somewhere on there. Somewhere. Yeah, it's fucking cool. It turns into like a swamp. I know. Yeah, I like swamps. I grew That's up awesome. next to a swamp. At least. Swarm. Uh, Connecticut. Right, right here. Yeah. Right. It was really cool. Like, even like the frogs and shit in the summer, frogs and stuff. It was amazing. The mosquitoes stuck, though. <laughs> yeah, fucking Connecticut. Like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up in, Se in Seattle. Like, What's way, that? like, way long ago, right? Uh, born there, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. okay, so I moved to Connecticut when I was four. Okay, so doesn't count. Born in Seattle. <laughs> Seattle doesn't count. Yeah. Hey, that's thing. You were born in Seattle. I was fucking, fucking height of grunge right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, of, let's uh, make a right. Go like around the. Yeah, that's a good call. That's a good call. <clears throat> I 
Don't go too deep in the fucking woods. I agree. Jersey, <laughs> De Jersey Devil will eat your face. He definitely will. It's like, uh, I'd rather pretend than actually get eaten today. Oh, yeah. Cut over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look at that pond. Oh, my God. Oh, so pondy. <laughs> Look at the water, it's so watery, watery. <laughs> and wet. <laughs> Look at that dihydrogen monoxide. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's fucking cool. Yeah, I just live here the rest of my life. Here you go. Put up a tent right there. Right there. Okay. As long as the seasons don't change, I'd be happy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> just, eh. Uh, Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just realized something. This sucks. <laughs> I think I just eh. figured something out. <laughs> this this sucks. sucks. No socks, butthead. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, peeps. I just thought of something. This sucks. <laughs> when, when their TV's gone. Oh. Oh my god, it's fucking classic. Oh but yeah. they the best movie ever. <laughs> the new the new movie is uh it's like fucking just as good. It really is. Is it real? I'm, oh my god, it's I fucking like great. That. I watched it twice. It's it's fucking awesome. That's great. <laughs> I want I want to see it. <laughs> that I'm doesn't suck. So. Yeah, I just fucking get Paramount Plus so you can watch it. I know I want to, but my yeah. You can kind of be like, ah, oh, it's nothing. But when it's like every month. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm still fucking broke all the time. It fucking sucks. That's the thing, I just realized. I'm like, I'm like working at a job that I fucking hate and I'm broke. It's like, why don't I just do what I want to do and be broke? And exactly. Because it's like, I'm not, it's not like I'm making, even when I was at Amazon, like I, like I couldn't fucking pay down my fucking credit cards. Yeah, right, right. You know, like, like the, I'm not saving money. Like, why yeah. It's like it's nice for you know just for like a couple months or so and it's a super easy job to get like you don't have to you know pass a drug test i don't check for weed anymore so oh, that's good and then it's just like you know you just get the fucking job that's helpful i mean that's good yeah so Are it's like smoking, do you smoke weed at all or anything no i got some of my cbd gummies oh, and nice. shit I, I i like those it you know gets rid of my anxiety quite a bit that's good but yeah, it's now I, well, I have some that are um, full spectrum, so they got some THC in them. Oh really? But I don't even. I I, I, I take them and I just I get like I'm, I'm so my tolerance is so low for weed. <laughs> it's like. So how does it affect you when you do take like the? the it depends. It, it depends on how I'm feeling. It's weird. Like the other night I had a headache, so then I took some of that and I was th I was thinking I was having a stroke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like oh no, and like I didn't I didn't expect to get that high. Like I wasn't ready. Like if I'm ready, I can prepare for it. Thing. I'm sure it's a lot like what like fucking psychedelics are like. It's like if you're just not in the right mindset, it's not going to feel good. No. <laughs> so it's exactly. just a very exactly similar right. thing. Yeah, it's the same thing with me. Get on. Nice. Tarpa sprung a leak. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. oh, yeah. Did you watch the, the speaking of that song, uh, the new Batman movie has that song in it. Yeah, I heard people are like, oh, this is like a good song. It's like, oh shit. They were doing that with Stranger Things with that, with Master Puppets and that Kate Bush song, Running Up That Hill. Uh, yep, yep. And people are like, oh, this band Metallica is good. Like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> uh, it's so uh, yeah, dude, I noticed that. Like, and I went to the Bridgewater Mall and there's like some like teen bopper store and they've got like Metallica and Guns N' Roses like shirts there. I'm like, you guys. Like, ah. Uh, I didn't know that they had sundews here. I mean, it's a pretty dirty ass sign, but uh, yeah, sundews. Or no, that's a pitcher plant. This is a sundew. Oh yeah, you're like a plant guy. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh yeah, you're like a plant guy. You're like a botanist or something. Uh, you know about like flowers and shit. Flowers. You're just like I don't get poison ivy because there it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's fucking funny. That's, that's brilliant. I, love that. I don't get poison ivy because there it is. <laughs> yeah, man, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, at least I make myself laugh. Fever. Yeah, I don't think those people don't. Uh, well, actually, this part, this looks like beavers to me. Beavers mm -hmm. often do that. Mm -hmm. Nice.
Well, you know, they're fucking hungry, so. Yeah. The beavers wouldn't like this pond because they'd be like, I can't fucking dam this shit up. This sucks. Yeah, like, I can't, I can't do anything with it. It was already freaking dammed over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this totally. That. See, that's like teeth notches. That's not like a hack. That's like a scrape. Yeah. Here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> pretty cool. That's a small pond. Yes, it is. I wonder if you can walk all the way around. Oh, look at that swamp. Swamp. Swampy. Pretty cool. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yeah, so no Al Alistair Crowley, unfortunately. I know. Uh, well, I was yeah reading that fucking story. It was um, <clears throat> it was saying that they're not sure if the his ashes were buried underneath the tree. There was also yeah, a story like that guy's Gordon. yeah, either the guy's wife like got angry and like threw it. Yeah, right, and it broke on the tree. Right. Yeah, something. So it's like you know you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. This is from Beavers. Fucking nice. Yeah, look at this shit. It's gonna become Pakim Dam. <laughs> you have to change the fucking sign, goddamn beavers. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. This is a dam. That's a dam. Bushy tail, bushy tail, motherfuckers. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty damn cool. I'll get it. Damn cool. Damn cool. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Fucking fantastic. Yeah. All right. Look at this. This is beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. It looks like... Almost looks like the swamp's sadness from a never-ending story. <laughs> Remember that? Well, yeah. I swear to God, it's not the same thing. You did? Oh, that's I awesome. I took a picture right there, because I was like, oh it's my God. It's the swamp's sadness. <laughs> yeah, I was like, holy shit, it looks so crazy. That is crazy. Like, there's no fog, but like, why does it look so eerie? And, like, yeah. Totally. <laughs> so cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if I was if I was a Jersey Devil, I'd fucking live in here. It's awesome. I would totally live in here. I'm like, this is spooky. Yeah, he could he could fly south of the winter. It's fucking great. <laughs> yeah, the big ass good. wings and get it on one flight. Exactly, and like go somewhere creepy and swampy down in Georgia or something. Fuck you. Go down to Savannah. Really yeah. This is pretty darn cool. That is nice. <clears throat> but yeah, it's funny. I used to always say like like oh I love winter. Oh it's so cool. Yeah, I love the snow. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, anymore. Well, it's funny. Like, I like the older you get, it's like the less. Like, I, it's like I don't want. I, I, don't I mean, anymore. I mean, like I hate the fucking humidity. But then it's like yeah. going down to the desert, and it's like once it hits like a hundred, hundred and ten in the fucking summer. Oh my god! <laughs> I want to be like, I want to be like, holy shit! Yeah, I would die, dude. That's, that, that's I think for me the bigger reason that like I want to just deal with the cold. Like I kind of want to stay up here, maybe maybe move to the west coast. I don't know, but uh, I just. That's a great thing about fucking traveling is you could just be like, you know what? Um, yeah, it's like you just follow the fucking weather. Yeah. Um, that is a good thing about it. Yeah. yeah I need my plants. Yes. You can have, you can have, well, yeah, I mean, you can have some, like, plants on the dashboard, but. <laughs> Look at my house. That's about it. This has to be real. <laughs> the fucking, um, sure. but, I mean, you can always, you know, you know, just travel part of the year. Yeah, sure. You know. I guess. If you're rich. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you ever get like an RV or some shit, I mean, That's true. a cheap ass RV, just like fix it up throughout the year. Yeah. Well, right here is a road. That's a road. That's where the Jersey Devil lives, somewhere. That's where he sits. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the fuck that would even go. Do it again. <laughs> It was so good the first time. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Do you want to see where this goes? Not yeah. really. Not really. Not yeah, I don't even know. I'd... Should we jump in front of this car and boo him? Boo, don't I look devilly? Boo. It's <laughs> just boo. Boo. <laughs> don't I look like a. Like that was scary and depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, or that, that Jersey Devil. I mean, he was first, so he has to uh, check it out. The rest of his days in 100 Central as a mascot. Yeah, fucking seriously. 
Yeah, I don't know why we're the HC Devils. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know, I was only there for a year, so. This boss. Pretty cool. Merce. Merce. You know, the side that it's on is the way you go. It's the, it's, 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 that's what the pioneers said. Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever the fuck from SpongeBob. <laughs> it's not just a boulder, it's a rock. Future. <laughs> Future. Oh, creepy. Oh, I guess we're walking on this side of the road here. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Walk against traffic. Oh, you think you're fucking schmott? A little bit. <laughs> no, it was really fun, though, uh, when we were working at Applebee's and just like total insomniacs and nothing to do at night. And you work, you, know, you, you, you start work at 5 p.m., you know? Yeah. So it's like you stay up super fucking late. And like, what are you going to do before 5? Obviously nothing. <laughs> yeah. I so know, that was... Movies, movies, movies. Like, you'd hand me a stack this big. Yes. And I would watch like two, three a night. <laughs> Those were good. Those were, that was fucking good times, dude. That was my that was my best movie watching was uh, at Applebee's. I get like, I, get, I, I would get like two done, like, I would, like two a night. I would just go home yeah. with, my, my, with my snacks from 7-Eleven and just... Dude, yes. Just two a night, like, okay. sometimes three, because I would get DVDs from, get three DVDs from Netflix. Nice. I watch all three of them, send them back. I get, like, six a week. So that was some of your best movie watching, too. That was my best, like, by far. Same, dude. So Same. far. Oh, like, cool. like, just quantity. Yeah. Yeah, quantity. I mean, yeah, we we'll watch a lot of crap, too. But. Yeah, of course. I, yeah, some of the, it's a quality, too, because you gave me a lot of good movies. Like, it wasn't just, like, like, oh, uh, hopefully this is good. Like, you were like, yeah, this is, like... There's a reason you let me borrow these movies. And I would give you a stack of, like, horrible early 2000s comedy. <laughs> Some more horrible than others. But, yes. um, yeah, dude, I saw a lot of good movies in that in that period of time. Like, fucking Nebraska stands out to me the most. Because yeah. I wasn't expect. I don't, I mean, I wasn't expecting anything. But, goddamn, I love <clears> that movie. I've seen that thing, like, three, four times already. Yeah, that's the same dude who did uh, Sideways. Oh, wow. Alexander oh, wow. Payne, the same director. Right, I forgot about that. And um, that movie about Schmidt that I gave you. About Schmidt. It was Jack Nicholson, and he like I don't know, he like adopted a kid or something. It was like it was a weird like his stories have like no plot. They're like Seinfeld mm -hmm. movies, mm -hmm. but they're really fucking good. I, I barely remember about Schmidt. I know I watched it, but I don't remember it that all that well. Yeah, I gotta get back. I'm so far behind on movies. I'm still stuck in Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. I just like I haven't had the fucking time. That's why I'm like I'm just mm -hmm. like it's like look I'm fucking broken. Why don't I just work on my own shit? Mm -hmm. Like work on my label, like I can sell records online. I a couple months a year ago, I did like, like almost like two grand a month, like selling wow. records. I was like, I can, I can, I just need to like put the money into it, and then I'm mm -hmm. fucking good. Yeah, dude. Yep. Uh, let's get this guy over here cutting wood. I got cut cutting some wood. Wood. Uh, I got a. We got some some firing and some sitting for the Jersey Devil. If he wants to come by. Yeah. He'll be like, Bwah -ha -ha. I'm tired. Let me sit down. <laughs> I'll be like, all right, Bwah -ha -ha. Bwah -ha -ha. come on down. Yeah, look at that. That's look nice. at this cool ass fucking lantern hook. Look at that cool ass hook. Too bad nice I don't hook. have a lantern. <laughs> um, dirty ass car. Okay. Yeah, dude. It's a. Uh, it was a very dry summer, and uh, yes. I haven't driven a lot in the rain. Like it should. Like eventually. Uh, I don't know. Get wet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's fucking rain's coming. Yeah. Not even the fucking hurricane that didn't fucking do nothing. Right? <laughs> Still got the dirtiest fucking car in the world. Yeah, dude. Yeah, seriously. And what, what the hell? We had like four days of rain straight. What the hell? Like, oh, yeah. It was, it was cloudy for like a whole fucking week. I mean, I, 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 I love the fucking rain. I just, I just hate the cold. Yeah. I was not... I was not a fan. I was, uh... I was unhappy. I was like really like I can't take this. I was annoyed. <laughs> yeah, I mean after a couple of days, I well after like the sixth day of I was just like yeah, all right, okay, all right. It was like that's enough clouds. <laughs> straight fucking rain for like four days. Yeah, I know. Fucking clouds. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> Crafty clouds with you. <laughs> yeah, good crafty Mexican the oh, glass candy. candy. <laughs> That's I don't mean to offend any Chinese people with the show. That's right, I'm Chinese, motherfuckers. <laughs> I was born in Shanghai. Shanghai. Wait, what is that from? Uh, it wasn't the same special, but it was Louis C.K. 
It, oh, it was the um, Chinese. <laughs> I'm that was a, that was the 9/11 deniers. <laughs> With a nine, motherfucker, 18. <laughs> We're nine to nine. Motherfucker, 18. <laughs> we are the 9/11 deniers. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, give us back one day. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking 13. <laughs> oh man, fucking um. Also, the way he like like did that like. Set it up, he's like, like imitating his kid. Oh, I thought they were nine, <laughs> 11 to nine. They're just, they're just, they should, she thought there just been nine people who just ain't buying this 11 ain't bullshit. Buying <laughs> 11 shit. Yeah, oh my god. Like, UCK is a fucking brilliant. Like, he's like, I don't know, is, is he your favorite? He's one yeah, of Yeah, oh yeah. I think he is my favorite. I just watched his new special again. I had to watch it a couple times. How new? Uh, last year? I didn't um, see it. It's on, I bought, you can buy his. A bundle of all specials. Oh really? How much is that? I forget. It was like and, four, it was like it was cheap. It was like forty bucks. You get like every thirty or forty. You get like everything. Okay. Gotcha. You just put out a new movie too, so I got a. No shit. I bought that for yeah. Okay. That movie's called Fourth of July. Really? Yeah. Okay. So uh, and where can you buy that on? Just LouisCK.com. LouisCK.com. It was so funny. That's right. I'm Chinese, motherfuckers. <laughs> I was born in Shanghai. Chopsticks and whatnot. <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's so funny. Oh, man. Well, this like pseudo documentary is going to be like nothing but me filming the ground. <laughs> and saying, like, oh, I'm fucking, uh, I don't know. I'm just quoting, quoting things. Shanghai. Shanghai. Nice. Let's see. You can just sit right up on there. It's perfect. Yeah, just sit right there. It's so warm. In fact, I'm on fire. <laughs> In fact, I'm on fire. <laughs> I seem to have spontaneously combusted. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, it's, that's okay. It's okay. I'm, I've grown tired of living. Oh, well, very well then. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, our Family Guy came back on, too. It was great. It's been, it's been pretty good so far. I, I mean, Family Guy anymore, they've been doing a lot of those, like... They did one. It was, like, Oscar movie. So they made fun of, like, Silence of the Lambs. Okay. Like they put all the characters in. Like that's that's like the best Family Guy now. Like just the original episodes just aren't as good anymore. Yeah, I agree. You know, I agree. they're on like the twentieth fucking season, so it's you know, it's good. It's, it's gonna get old. Of course, like you can't come up with like a new, like a completely new idea that's like never been done. Like, but doing parodies of stuff. Oh, very nice. Yeah, get in there. It's Fire, fire danger is low because it rained like a fucking motherfucker for. Damn right it did. Yeah, everything's yeah. soggy over there. I thought it would like have dried out a little bit, but. No. Yeah. Nope. Even the picnic table's soggy as shit. Is it? Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's cool out in the fucking desert. I um, I found a place. It was near the Grand Canyon. There was like a. It was gonna take me on like a rocky fucking road. I was like, I'm not fucking driving over this shit. Oh yeah, dude. You know, but like I, so like I turned off, and then there was a um a boat ramp like right off of Lake Mead. Nice. I just parked there for like for the weekend. It was oh my, it's insane how fucking quiet the desert actually is because there's none like this, this this bug noise is nothing. Wow. There's no trees, so there's no like leaves rustling. Forget about it. That's insane. Yeah, I wonder what that would. It's what like would I woke up. Like... I woke up and I'm like, I I, I was like content. I, I I guess people from the city wouldn't fucking like it, but. Uh yeah yeah true. used to the noise. Like I it was like it was literally nothing. There was no fucking noise. God, I need some like smaller fucking wood here. Very nice.
Yeah, I mean, yeah, I wanna fucking travel. As long as the world's gonna be okay, I'll just, you know, keep fucking traveling. Yeah. Or actually, especially if it's not, keep fucking traveling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, my, my biggest thing is just like my family, like what do I do, you know? Because oh, right. I was genuinely thinking about like, like I got my passport and I was like, I mean, shit, I'm like, if like a fucking nuclear war happens, I mean, like, I can fly to Australia, but it's like, my, fam my family's not gonna fucking go to Australia. There's no right. fucking way. Right. You know. And you wanna be there. So it's just like, I just abandon everything and everyone. Uh-huh. 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 You know. That's so hard. Yeah. Okay, so, Vegas is a how many hour drive? If you book it, you can get there in like three days. Just, we just drive nonstop. Right, okay. I don't know, I'm just trying to think, like, how, how can I justify this for you? <laughs> like, go to Australia, fuck it. <laughs> You're, like, equal distance. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope that that fucking psycho decides to fucking, you know, la launch on Ukraine and we just decide, like, like real quick, we just, you know, and then, and then you know, like, we take them out, but then, like, China would, like, fucking retaliate, you know? Yeah. Goddamn fucking cook. Oh, well, getting there. Got bloody ass beats. <laughs> fucking. This might be a cup. One thing I really want to do, like, I'm not much of a hiker, but I want to get into it more. Yeah. But, hike the whole Appalachian Trail oh, and the whole so cool. Pacific Crest Trail. I've always dreamt of doing that. It's supposed to be another trail, like a Continental Divide trail. Yeah. Um, but, that doesn't uh, sound like... Is that a bad piece of veggie? Uh, I dropped it. I mean, it still <laughs> can go for a little bit. Maybe like rotate or something? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's probably I mean, a good it's idea. It's hot as shit now. So. I'm going to lower it. I think rotating is a good idea. Yeah, good call. Yeah. I also want to start with fucking uh, YouTube channel. Try to do like you know talking about talking about shit. <laughs> now that's a fucking phenomenal idea. Seriously, doing that is a great idea. I think you're being sarcastic, sir. <laughs> I, it sounds like it, but I'm not. I swear. I oh, know we've been we've been over this before. It's like you oh, sound like you're being sarcastic. <laughs> I think I remember suggesting that like quite a while ago. Yeah. No, you should do that. I've thought about it. But then you're always just like, that sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get excited about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> that would be scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> and I'm a man who enjoys this too. <laughs> mm. mm. Oh. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing my own song. Adam West, Adam West. Does anyone Adam want West, to play Adam West, Stratego? Adam West. I have Stratego. <laughs> I'll, I'll come uh, out when they're all gone. Does anyone want to play Stratego? I have Stratego. <laughs> oh man, that was a fucking police. You what? Yeah. Fuck out of here, cops. Coppers. You never catch me alive, coppers. Coppers. I don't see why we, I don't see why we couldn't drink. Well, actually, I have that fucking. Check out them fucking rules. Oh, very hot. <laughs> huh. What a fuck. <laughs> okay. No, fuck yeah, go for it, dude. Very hot. Kind of undercooked. <laughs> Sorry. Hot potato. You know it's fucking cooked enough. Yeah. The, de the devil says it's okay. Some of them. If I shows up, like, if I get some of that. <laughs> <laughs> some of them are, uh, I don't know, kind of crunchy, but pretty good. Yeah, try them. Definitely on the crust. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. we we'll always put it back on. Fuck it. Yeah. Smoky as hell. <laughs> <laughs> really got the, <laughs> really got the fire tasting. <laughs> yeah. My God. This is the weirdest potato I've ever eaten. 
Is it good with the dressing? No. No. <laughs> you wanna try it? <laughs> sure. I got fucking, I got nine hot sauces in there if you wanna fucking drown it out. Oh, nice, not a bad idea. I was thinking ketchup, honestly. That's when all else fails. You yeah. like ketchup or not? Nah? Ketchup's gross. Yeah. It only goes on gross stuff, but you still eat it. Like, if, like if I get fries, I still fucking slather them in ketchup. That's, hmm. that's the American way. Yeah. It's the way George Washington wrote it in the Constitution. So, fuck, <laughs> fuck yes. Damn right. That's right. Fuck them. Mm -hmm. Guns and ketchup. Guns and ketchup. That's burnt. <laughs> Put that on the ground. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, good. My place is falling. That's the thing. Like, I've been in such a slump the last couple of years, but that was like the one. That was like my one saving grace. It was Applebee's? The last couple of years. Fuck yeah. Nice, dude. I'm I actually so glad. Would, I actually would look forward to going to work. Like, if I was just going through a rough patch, I was like, man, I can't wait to fucking go to work on Friday. Me fucking too, dude. Yeah. Me too. It's the only I, t I was the only time I've ever fucking said that in my life. I, yeah, honestly, like, and like, Friday night at the host stand, people were in high spirits. It was yeah. fun. It Friday was and Saturday. Fun. Like, it was busy, and like, we'd get, like, fucking packed, even like after you left. You always left first. Mm-hmm. Love leaving first. You put on your pimp and coat and fucking. And I, I was okay. always, I was always, most of the time last, like ninety nine point nine percent. Because you didn't, you didn't care. Nobody wants to close, but I was like, no, and I always, I always like showed up last. Like sometimes I would show up at like six. Right, right, right. And then I was like, no, I'm here. You know. I remember, like, I would always ask, like, oh, close for me, and you're like, fuck yeah, I don't care. I like it. Yeah, I did it, <laughs> I did it all the time. Yeah. Remember they made me fucking do the mornings for a while. I was like, Alan, can do the fucking morning. I cannot do the fucking mornings. <laughs> and you were like, yeah. You're like, you're, I love you're, mornings. You, you were like, I just show up high. <laughs> and <it's a> time. <laughs> yep. The time fucking flies by. That's absolutely right. I remember that. I would have work at like, we get there, 11, 15, 11. And I'd smoke at like 10, 30 or something. Or wait, get You're there open, at 10, open at 11. Yeah. So you get there at 10, 30. And I'd like wake up and smoke weed. Fuck yeah. I get out early. Hell yeah. And then, like, you get to sit there and do nothing. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. See, see my soup is on oh. fire. <laughs> on fire soup. All right, I put it back here, so it's. Oh, this should be fine. Is it burbling? Maybe a little. This is like bloody fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just leftover from boy. chicken dumpling and then fucking tomato bisque, so. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Damn. Those people you fucking, you know. See, you quit a job, you fucking lose touch with people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've kept touch with you since fucking seventh grade. Right? Fucking nuts. I remember you started at Reading Fleming, and that's why I used to think, like, that was before I was cool, and, like, I, I thought that High Top Converse Chuck Taylor All-Stars were stupid. I remember were, were I first stupid. moved to New Jersey, and I remember somebody... And, dude, at the time, you looked a lot like one of my really good friends from, from Connecticut. And I was just like, <laughs> like, like, oh, I'm so self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think I, I don't think I would have told you, like, your shoes look dumb. But, like, I remember you, I remember you, wearing, I remember you, I remember you, for some reason, I was like, I remember sitting in the hallway, like, outside my locker for yes, some, some reason. I remember you were sitting. And, like, and, like, you walk by. I was like, those are dumb, those are dumb ass shoes. I probably said it under my breath, and then yeah. you were like, oh no. <laughs> yes! Yes, I remember it so yeah. well. I remember you sitting. You're like, those shoes are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, like, you're just a kid, and you're like making an observation. And then I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm broken. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just moved to Jersey. Like, oh my God. And, like, I was so unstable. I, I kind of still am, but, uh, <laughs> like, little That's things like that, like, just fucking. But then, I, two years later, when I started high school, it was just like, I, like I wanted nothing but fucking Converse. Yeah, dude, it's so funny. I remember all, so many people, including my brother, were like, Converse are dumb as shit. Like, oh, they look like clown shoes. They look like clown shoes. Yeah, I know. And it's like, they're still the most fucking popular shoe ever. So it's like, I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, man.
Yeah, hopefully the fucking devil stops by. We'll see. Hopefully. All this smoke. Oh, yeah. Fucking cool. Oh, my God. Why am I standing right here? I'm, like, breathing it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't breathe. <laughs> it's be fucking creepy as shit. See him coming out of the fucking trees. That would be fucking creepy as shit. Hard to tell. Imagine like just yeah. like scanning, seeing some glowing eyes staring back at you. It's like, how about new? <laughs> a bit new. Scotty, you're, you're, you're take crazy. it down a notch. <laughs> creeping a bit. <laughs> Scotty, crazy Dutch press. I, I still like every 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 day. I'm like I'm like you want a schmuck and a pancake. <laughs> uh, how about new? You <laughs> a crazy Dutch <laughs> bastard. Five minute clip. Nope. <laughs> Flapjack and cigarette? Nope. Fucking a bitch? Nope. And there is no police. Yeah. <laughs> you missed the power. Dude, you know what clip I, I, oh, you know, I've been watching over and over? is when, when Doctor was like, you know, I think you find all kids are different, eh? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. For example, <laughs> Minnie Me loves chocolate. Scotty Don't. <laughs> ah, we oui, Minnie Me Emily Chocolate. <laughs> oh god damn it was fucking great so good um either that or the uh the first two will ferrell gets killed because he's at a uh, mustafa oh, yeah. and he gets dumped I in the fire pit nice, yeah I'm very I'm badly badly burnt. Burnt. the second one he falls off the cliff he's like i've broken my leg oh yeah, yeah yeah i think it's a compound fracture <laughs> see if i can try to say it. oh no oh no <laughs> He was like, they couldn't ask him the same question three times. Yeah, yeah. He was like, no, it's a different question. It, it's a different line of questioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I really have to say it three times? Where's Dr. Evil Circle Volcano Lair? <laughs> Damn, three times. <laughs> What's so funny about that scene, like, and there was a YouTube comment, I didn't even fucking notice. I didn't even notice this in the movie, but somebody pointed out, and they were like, "They were like, all they did was just take a phone booth from the UK and place it on the side of the Pacific Coast Highway, yeah. just to make it look like there's just a phone booth on the side mm -hmm. of the highway." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I realized, I'm like, "Yeah, what the fuck?" I was laughing about that for like 15 minutes. That's I'm like, what so the weird. Fuck? That's oh my god. If there's more veggies here. If you want, them, feel free to just help yourself. But uh, yeah. my up soup. to you. Yeah. That's like I, I got like. Checks mix and shit. Got a fool over here. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about that being full. Oh, cut me a marlin. Ah, man. Oh, man, fucking one bag of firewood's good enough. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I mean, we should put more on his fucking smoke. is fucking nuts. Oh, crazy already. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, man. Not so crazy. I like that. Oh, I have to say it all the time. Fucking not so crazy. Well, who's, who's the first person you heard say that? I don't know. <laughs> is that a family statement? It probably is, yeah. Not so crazy. I like it. I'm crazy nutso. Not so crazy, crazy nutso. All right. Uh, I keep looking behind, make sure, no, make sure there's no devils. Yeah, that's a good call. I wish I brought like a lane. Okay. <laughs> Probably killing my battery. Oh well. Who needs it? Who needs your phone when you're gonna die get by getting eaten by the Jersey Devil tonight anyway? Like, eh, who needs it? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. You can eat all. Of, that'd be great. If you eat all of us. Like, oh boy, I sure am hungry. <laughs> I sure am hungry. Oh, hey. I'm gonna eat all. Of, he eats just the face. Like that's the best. That's the most. That's the most nutritious and delectable part. So it's he like, just eats the face. Yeah, that's a new breeder. Eat your face. <laughs> that's a new breeder. Well, I'll leave it. No, it'd be funny. We'll leave it. No faces. Like, and, like get your picture taken. Like you're on a uh, <laughs> theme park ride. Yeah, like, wow. You get a sticker. I got my face eaten by, <laughs> by the my, Jersey <laughs> Devil. <laughs> I got my face eaten by the Jersey Devil at Tyler Campground or whatever it is. 
whatever. Oh, uh, Brendan T. Burns. I don't know, some like like black dude who was like, he was like a doctor in the area. I don't know, something. Like legit? I think so, yeah, back in whatever, like 1800s. Okay. Some shit. They had it, his name something else, and they changed it to his name. So. Gotcha. Not bad. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm not a fan of Jersey anymore, but there is, you know, still you know, some camping down here. Yeah. In South, South Jersey, anyway. Yeah. We're just camping up in the last but like, you know. Yeah. So I just, I'm gonna fucking travel, fucking see the whole country. That's right. I know I'm hungry, I want this heat up soup. Yeah, come on, guys. You should have a sip, see, see how it is. I know I did, it's still, uh, Stone. it's getting, it's getting there. Let I me mean, get the 11 herbs and spices. Put that shit in there. I'll meet some because I want to start playing music again and shit. Oh, nice, dude. Like, uh. Actually, like, you know what I want to do? I want to. This will be easy. I want to do a fucking morphine cover band. Ah! That'd be sick, dude. Yeah. So, um... You're gonna play drums, bass, and sax? I'll just fucking do all of it. <laughs> and, um... I'll do, uh... Is that my wife? That would help. Um, yeah, I'll do... Well, I'll do the, uh, the singing and the... <clears throat> all that happy horse shit. Um... That'll be easy, you know. And again, the music's already fucking written, so I could just do that. That could be like my day job. Yeah. <laughs> be fun, dude. That'll be the that'll be the easy. I don't have to fucking. That'll be the night job, but yeah. <laughs> that'll just, that'll be like steady because like that's you could play anywhere, especially in Vegas. There you go. Let's see. Yeah. some bubbles there. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Get the up a little, darling. Getting some boobies. It's just. Yeah, it's just twist off. Just time. Oh, I got my life for me, thank you. The fire's gonna... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Fucking yeah. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, I definitely wanna do more of this shit. And again, a lot of it's free out west from what... I don't know, not so much, maybe not so much the uh, the woods, but definitely the desert. Nice. We can't really have, like, a fire out there. <laughs> Live out in Slab City, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... You know, Slab City is, um, that place is definitely sketchy, but... Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no law, so nobody... Crazy motherfuckers. It's a nice, uh, you know, just check it out. Have you seen, uh, the movie Into the Wild? Watch that yet? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's... Yeah, they were, that's where they were, and they were selling those books where fucking Chris and Stewart was there. Oh. That was that was Slab City. Good about that. And that like they, was that like that that mountain of shit that they visit. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah, that was that's in that's in Slab City. Yeah, it's a very very famous place, right? Pretty much. Pretty. Well, for all the hobos like me. <laughs> I forgot. I got to mix in the spices. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Just got oh, a mouthful mouth of like unmixed off. spices. It's uh, starting to steam up. All right. Oh, uh, <clears throat> this hot sauce bottle. Remember when I? Uh, okay, so it's my last of my Carolina Reaper hot sauce. I'm sure you recognize that. <laughs> But, uh, I still fucking have those stickers. It's awesome. This shit is insane. There's like 12 Carolina Reapers per bottle. I'm not even. I'm not oh even. Kidding. So you're gonna have this for years. But there you go. It's yours. But last of my right. Reaper sauce. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yeah, it's just straight up Reapers vinegar with like a dash of xanthan gum so it doesn't split. But uh, yeah, dude, that shit's really good. Uh. Yeah, I wish I could have given you the sauce that I made for, like, the wedding party favors and shit. But I, 
I made barely enough. Like I had like one bottle left over. I've got like half of a bottle left, and it's dirty as fuck. Jeez. I was like, I was like, oh, like this dude just commented on the thing, like, oh, please come for me, boom. And like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't, no, that would be like <laughs> so shitty, like giving him like a half. It's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> We'll give it to him. It's dirty. <laughs> oh, I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah well, whatever. That's a nicer gift. Though, I mean, this one is. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Thank you. That's uh, yeah, that's fucking. Just uh, fucking leaving. <laughs> What, are you leaving? <laughs> I, don't know. I just wanted to, because uh, I had the light on for so long. I, like I said, I, I ran out of my car's battery way too many times. Oh man, my spoon fell into the soup. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Do you want uh, my knife? Try to scoop it out. Here. Oh, there's like the that part. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. Have fun. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's all right. I got, I got wipes. Oh, there you go. I'll just wipe the thing. Oh, yeah, we're out in the woods. Yeah. It's, it's always pooping time. Always pooping I'm sitting right in my pooping bucket. I could just poop right here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh, that's just the worst. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. Eleven herbs and spices. It's KFC soup. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, he put that up on Facebook. I was saying like, "Hey, let's make a pawpaw hot sauce." Oh, that's great, dude! Yeah. I was totally gonna. And then I <laughs> Gee whiz! Right. Have you ever tried it? No. It's, it's uh, well, I mean, like, really good, but, like, uh, it just blows my mind that it grows in New Jersey. Like, it doesn't taste or look like anything that grows around here. So, I was like, so there's a, uh, this, uh, Chinese lady that's a friend of, uh, owner's wife of Lone Eagle that's like, oh, there's a pawpaw festival in Ohio, they made a pawpaw beer, let's make a pawpaw beer, I, I have an access to pawpaw. And we're like, okay. <laughs> nice and uh i tried this i'm like holy fuck like i was like where where is this grow there and she's like new jersey i'm like you gotta be fucking kidding me yeah like a an american united states fruit that i have never heard of i'm like are you fucking kidding me like i'm a plant guy I'm not, i've never heard of it yeah us, us dumbass americans we don't know nothing you know nothing about nothing All right, this here's some good ass soup I heard. I made it fucking spicy. No, I put that that extra hot chili powder. Oh man. <laughs> Don't eat sugar, ya momo. Ya momo. Do you not want to be a damn no mo no mo? You want to be no no mo mo no mo? Ah. Fucking yeah.
Oh, excuse me. You're disgusting. <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Nobody's cool anymore. Exactly. Exactly. Fuck, right? Like me and the uh, the brewer at that Lone Eagle, we quote like lots of shit. Like he's he's really into stand up, so we quote like, like, like well, lots of stand up. But like, dude, the movies and the Family Guy. Like he doesn't watch Family Guy. He doesn't watch South Park. I'm like. Some kind of damn momo. Some kind of damn momo. I already told you I don't want no more momos no more. <laughs> I don't want no more momos no more. It's funny because it's only two noises. It's no mo, momo, no mo. Momo, no mo, no more. Or no, 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 fucking no, 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 so oh, God damn it. Uh, that's funny. Man, it's only what, like 7 o'clock? I know, it's insane. I feel like Ugh. it should be like 9. 9.30. It's fucking the beginning of, uh... Yeah. Right, nothing you can do about the sun going down early. Yeah, dude. No matter where you go. Especially, like, being... Being, uh, outside for the whole time and, like, experiencing the sunset, it's like, oh, time for bed. <laughs> Even though it's, like... What's up with it? Like what? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. The best part of Applebee's was our uh, Carolina Reaper challenge. We would eat a little piece and then go, and then like 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 right when people were coming in, oh, dude, like, like, like eat, eat a little piece and then like try to yeah you gotta stay calm. Yeah, dude. Like try to pretend you're fine and like like oh, Ron will be right with you. Yeah. <laughs> like dude, that was hard. That was hard and like it's like. <laughs> Like it, like they back. You're right, so I'm just thirsty. <laughs> yeah, and it's like it's like I'm not crying, but I am. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? But not for the reason you think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wasn't that crazy, man? It was pretty cool that we did that. <laughs> but like thinking back on it, it's like, damn. We're just a couple of cool guys. That's a pretty fun thing to do. <laughs> oh, smoke it, my eye. <laughs> I wish I thought of that earlier. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, what? You get paid to do that? Fuck off. Yeah, dude. We had have, we have great, great fun. It's, uh... Yeah, I miss that fucking place. Like, I, it just sucks that it closed. I wish it was just... At least it was still open that I could, you know... At least go there. Get a fucking Fiesta Lime Chicken. Ah, you know. uh, do you get Fiesta Lime Chicken in Dallas and Tabasco? Oh, God. I, 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 would, I would bring my hot sauce up. in with me. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That shit was the best. Ah, dude, what was my favorites? Obviously, boneless wings all the time, but wonton tacos. Fuck yeah. But, okay, so, I, yeah, let me say again, like, uh, I understand, like, things are stressful. Like, it's a restaurant, it's a stressful time, and, uh, yeah. like, a host is, like, an easy target. Of course. <laughs> like, you're always looking for somebody to blame if things don't go your way, which, in the restaurant industry... It's very common for things not to go smoothly. <laughs> yes. So I don't blame anybody for it. Dude, it's all in. Dude, let me tell you, I, I don't know if uh, if it's me being disgruntled by leaving on, you know, a sour note, or if it's you looking on the past with rose-colored glasses, but, like, yeah. was, I don't know, man. Like, there was a lot of bullshit, a lot of fucking bullshit. But, like... But everybody was cool, that's the thing. Like, yes, yeah, they were cool people. You know, and, like, we work, like, 20 hours a week. It's not, you know... Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, I... And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. you're saying, everybody was cool. Oh, hey, you're the devil. I was wondering when you'd stop by. 
Are you filming right now or no? Oh yeah. Oh, you are. <laughs> Let me uh. Like how much my iPad lit up mm. with my light on it. Doesn't make, light. Yeah, it doesn't make any, does. doesn't make any blinding. fucking sense. Oh shit. Alright, story time around the fire. Alright. I don't need to, I don't know why I have this freaking light on. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me yeah, turn this, yeah, let me yeah. turn this light off. Alright, lights off. Alright, so in South Jersey and Philadelphia folklore in the United States. The Jersey Devil, also known as the Leeds Devil, is a legendary creature said to inhabit the forest of the Pine Barrens in South Jersey. The creature is often described as a flying biped with hooves, but there are many variations. The common description is that of a bipedal kangaroo-like or wyvern-like creature with a horse or goat-like head, leathery bat-like wings, horns, small arms with clawed hands, legs with cloven hooves, and a forked tail. It is, it's forked, not forked. That's how forked. You forked. It's gotta be forked. It's gotta be forked. Um, it has been reported to move quickly and is often described as emitting a high pitched blood curdling scream. Very nice. Was that it? <laughs> that was it. That wasn't me, guys. That wasn't him. <laughs> that wasn't me. It was Anna. <laughs> It wasn't me. Yeah, okay, so, uh, origin of the legend. Mother Leeds, Mother Leeds's 13th child. According to popular folklore, the Jersey Devil originated with a Pine Barrens resident named Jane Leeds, known as Mother Leeds. Legend states that Mother Leeds had 12 children, and after finding she was pregnant for the 13th time, cursed the child in frustration, crying that, crying that the child would be the devil. In 1735, Mother Leeds was in labor on a stormy night while her friends gathered around her. Born as a normal child, the 13th child changed to a creature with hooves, a goat's head, bat wings, and a forked tail. Growling and screaming, the child beat everyone with its tail before flying up the chimney and heading into the pines. That's fucking awesome. It's so cool. I love it. <laughs> I, you're doing a good job telling the story. That would be a good shot for the fucking movie. Like, have, like, yes. a first person, like, up the fucking chimney. And then, yeah. That'll dude. be, that'll be, like, the actual fucking Or, movie. like, some snorry cam shit, like, Requiem, where you have the strapped to the devil and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> that's fine that's fine I knew what you were talking about the fucking mom <laughs> and towards the end man that movie's fucking brutal um, this is better anyway <laughs> yeah fucking record Jesus Christ that movie's crazy that guy just came out with um that movie uh is with Brendan Fraser The Whale like Brendan Fraser's fat that. that was Darren Aronofsky I haven't seen it yet but it was like his newest movie gotcha Good for Brendan. So he's the guy who made uh, that movie Pi and uh, Requiem, Requiem for a Dream. The one with the math movie that you didn't want to watch. You were like, math dish, and you're like, no. And I'm like, no, trust me, that movie's fucking good. And I didn't watch it? Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> and math? Nope. <laughs> nope. I want to do numbers and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like the numbers. <laughs> I really don't like numbers. Like, they can exist arbitrarily, but, like, when you assign numerical value, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, fuck that shit. I'm just like, uh, fuck that shit. Like, why can't we just all be a number, man? <laughs> Sorry. It is weird. Okay. All right. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, in some versions of the tale, Mother Leeds was supposedly a witch, and the child's father was the devil himself. Nice. Nice. Just like in Rosemary's Baby. That's awesome. Yeah, bud. Pretty good. Fuck yeah. And some versions of the legend also state that there was a subsequent attempt by local clergymen to exorcise the creature from the Pine Barrens. So yeah, it didn't work. There we go. Um, Here we are. So, yeah. So, the Leeds family. Now, prior, to, prior to the early 1900s, the Jersey Devil was referred to as a Leeds Devil or the Devil of Leeds. Yeah, either in connection to the, with the local Leeds family or the eponymous southern Jer New Jersey town Leeds Point. Um, Mother Leeds has been identified by some as Deborah Leeds on grounds that Deborah Leeds' husband, Jaffet Leeds, named 12 children in the will he wrote during 1736, which is compatible with the legend. Jesus Christ. It's too many damn kids. Two, yeah, dude, two, like, are you, are you shitting me? 1700s and you're having, like, a thousand kids, it's not good. That's not, it's not good. Um, and Deborah and Jaffet Leeds also lived in the Leeds Point section of what is now Atlanta County, New Jersey. 
which is commonly the location of the Jersey Devil store. It was before fucking America was a fucking thing, I just realized. All right, I had to buy more storage. Okay. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. Mm. Let's see. This is cool. All right, so okay. Brian Regal, a historian of science at Keene University, theorizes that the story of Mother Leeds, rather than being based on a single historical person, originated from colonial southern New Jersey. Religio political disputes that became the subject of folklore and gossip among the local population. According to Regal, folk legends concerning these historical disputes evolved through the years and ultimately resulted in the modern popular legend of the Jersey Devil during the early 20th century. <clears throat> Regal contends that the colonial area colonial era political intrigue involving early New Jersey politicians Benjamin Franklin and Franklin's rival almanac publisher Daniel Leeds resulted in the Leeds family being described as monsters and it was Daniel Leeds' negative description as the Leeds devil rather than rather than any actual creature that created the later legend of the Jersey devil okay interesting okay yeah that's cool so Benjamin Franklin's like you devil person you devil person and everybody's like it's real even it's though he's thing. the one with the fucking lightning and the shit you know <laughs> yeah right he's the one uh, making he's the one fucking summoning flames witchcraft shit yeah. right um yeah, you much, devil fuck it, yeah I that's cool that's, that's that's just the whole fucking thing yeah that's very interesting I never knew all that um, so much like the mother leads of the Jersey Devil myth, Daniel Leeds' third wife had given birth to nine children, a large number of children even for the time. Leeds' second wife and first daughter had both died during childbirth. As a royal surveyor with strong alliance to the British crown, Leeds had also surveyed and acquired land in the Egg Harbor area, located within the Pine Barrens. The land was inherited by Leeds' sons and family and is now known as Leeds Point, one of the areas in the Pine Barrens currently most associated with Jersey Devil Legend and the Legend of Devil Sanders. Oh, we should have gone there. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> That's like over there or something. It's like in that general area. <laughs> Let me look that up quick. Leeds Point. Uh... And Jersey, I was just so... so Fucking... Uh, definitively, the Jersey Devil was born in Leeds Point. <laughs> there we go. There we go. According to one legend about the cryptid. Legend claims that in 1735, the 13th child of a misleads from the community was transferred into a demon shortly after its birth. Uh, That's normal. Yeah. That's how you start a fire, right? Of course. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> There's no way that's going to work. I mean, it might. Was that, shit, was, that, was that shit wet? Oh, for sure. Okay. I mean, if it's <laughs> going. For an, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Take a left off here. Hopefully this fucking runs. Hopefully I have enough storage space. All right. Gotcha, all right. Uh, big ass log. All right. Nice. That's, quite a, That's log. a big ass log. I put the hyphen in the wrong place. It's yeah. big ass log. <laughs> ass log. Okay, yeah. Starting in, starting in 17th century, English Quakers established settlements in southern New Jersey, the region in which the Pine Barrens are located. Daniel Leeds, a Quaker and a prominent person of pre-revolution colonial southern New Jersey, became ostracized by his Quaker congregation after a 1687 publication of almanacs containing astrological symbols and writings. Leeds' fellow Quakers deemed the astrology in these almanacs as too pagan or blasphemous, of course, and the almanacs were censored and destroyed by the local Quaker community. Um, in response to and in spite of the censorship, Leeds continued to publish even more esoteric astrological Christian writings and became increasingly fascinated with Christian occultism, Christian mysticism, cosmology, demonology, and angelology, um, and natural magic. In the 1690s, after his almanacs and writings were further censored as blasphemous or heretical by the Philadelphia Quaker meeting, Leeds continued to dispute within the Quaker community, according to Anglicanism, and publishing anti-Quaker tracts, criticizing Quaker theology, and accusing Quakers of being anti-monarchists. In the ensuing dispute between the Leeds, between Leeds and the Southern New Jersey Quakers of Leeds' accusations, Leeds was endorsed by the much maligned British royal governor of New Jersey, Lord 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 Cornberry. <laughs> oh, Lord Cornberry. Lord Cornberry. Again, it was before the Revo Revolutionary War, so they're still in fucking charge. Um, despised among the Quaker communities, Lord Cornbury was. 
Lord Carn. Yeah, fuck that guy. L Lord, Lord Cornbutter. Lord Cornbutter. Lord Cornbutter. That's really? how we talked. Are you a real person? It's new, Jazzer. <laughs> I'm from the old regular Jazzer. Yeah, whatever the fuck. How is that a real person? <laughs> That's a real he's, name. He's, he's a fucking Cornberry. Momo. Cornberry. He's a fucking Momo. I don't want no damn Momos no mo. No Momo, no mo. <laughs> no mo, Momos, no mo. No mo. Um. Leeds also worked as a counselor to Lord Cornbury at this time. Considering Leeds as a traitor for aiding the Crown and rejecting Quaker beliefs, the Quaker Burlington meeting of Southern New Jersey described as, is subsequently dismissed Leeds as evil. Um, too much left. Mm, not too much. Uh, during 1716, Daniel Leeds' son, Titan Leeds. That's a cool name. Titan Leeds. Titan Leeds. That is um, a cool name. Inherited his father's almanac business, which can continued to use astrological content and eventually competed with Benjamin Franklin's popular Poor Richard's Almanac. Nice. The, comp the competition between the two men intensified when, during 1733, Franklin satirically used astrology in his almanac to predict Titan Lee's death in October of that same year. Wow. Oh, man. It's going to come true. Uh, let's see. Though Franklin's prediction was intended as a joke at his competitor's expense and a means to boost almanac sales, Titan Lee's was apparently offended at the death prediction, publishing a public admonition of Franklin as a fool and a liar. In a published response, Franklin mocked Titan Lee's outrage. Uh, yeah, Franklin mocked Titan Lee's outrage and humorously suggested that, in fact, Titan Lee's had died in accordance with the earlier prediction and was thus writing his almanac, his almanacs as a ghost, resurrected from the grave. Fucking, it actually fucking hurts. <laughs> yeah, it was like, what was that? Oh man, I just keep reading. I'm like, I'm summoning this fucker as a, you know. You are, like, oh shit, like this shit's happening. God damn it. That's cool. <laughs> it's the big log. I've always wanted to get e eaten. <laughs> wanted to get eaten by a, you know, by a, a friggin' devil zoo. guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, in response, uh, da, 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 da. okay, he resurrected from the grave, okay. Franklin continued, is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. Franklin continues to jokingly refer to Titan Leeds as a ghost, even after Titan Leeds' actual death in 1738. Daniel Leeds' blasphemous and occultist reputation and his pro-monarchy stance in the largely anti-monarchist colonial south of New Jersey, combined with Benjamin Franklin's later continuous depiction of Titan Leeds as a ghost, may have originated or, co or contributed to the local folk legend of a so-called Leeds devil working in the Pine Barrens. Okay. During 1728, Titan Leeds began to include the Leeds family crest on the masthead of his almanacs. The Leeds family crest depicted a wyvern, uh, which is a bat, a, a bat-winged, dragon-like, legendary creature that stands upright on two clawed feet. That one's not clawed. Clawed. It doesn't work. Clawed. Right. So that's just clawed. Hooved. Clawed. Hooved and what was the? A uh, hooved winged. Hooved winged clawed. With the with the t with the clawed. With the cloven. I have no idea. Cloven. <laughs> cloven and. Um, Regal notes that the wyvern on the leads from the crest is reminiscent of the popular descriptions of the Jersey Devil. The inclusion on the family crest on Leeds Almanacs may have further contributed to the Leeds family's, Leeds family's poor reputation among locals and possibly influenced the popular descriptions of Leeds Devil or Jersey Devil. The fearsome appearance of the crest wyvern and the increasing animosity among local South Jersey residents toward royalty, aristocracy, and nobility with whom the family crests were associated may have helped facilitate the legend of the Leeds Devil and the association of the Leeds family with devils and monsters. Um, Leeds Devil. Uh, how long this part is? Mm, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Regal notes that by the late 1700s and early 1800s, at the latest, the Leeds Devil had become a ubiquitous, legendary monster or ghost story in the southern New Jersey area. Into the early to mid 19th century, stories continued to circulate in southern New Jersey of the Leeds Devil, a monster wandering the Pine Barrens. An oral tradition of Leeds Devil monster ghost stories subsequently became established in the Pine Barrens area. Although the Leeds Devil legend has apparently existed since the 18th century, uh, Regal, Regal states that the more modern depiction of the Jersey Devil, as well as the now pervasive Jersey Devil name, first became truly standardized in current form during the early 20th century. Mm. Early 20th. So during the pre-revolutionary period, the Leeds family, who called the Pine Barrens home... Oh, very cool. <laughs> Soured its relationship with the Quaker majority. The Quakers saw no hurry to give their former fellow religionists an easy time in circles of gossip. His wives had all died, and as had several children, his son Titan stood accused by Benjamin Franklin of being a ghost. The family crest had winged dragons on it. Winged. Winged. Nice. 
you know. <laughs> in a time when thoughts of independence were being born, these issues made the Leeds family political and religious monsters. From all this over time, the legend of the Leeds Devil was born. References to the Jersey Devil do not appear in newspapers or other printed material until the 20th century. The first major flap, no pun intended, of the wingedness <laughs> came in 1909. There's a lot of fucking sightings in 1909. Read about that real quick. It is from these sightings that the popular image of the creature, bat-like wings, horse head, claws, and general air of a dragon became standardized. Indeed, many references to a Leeds Devil or Devil of Leeds appear in earlier printed material to the widespread usage of the Jersey Devil name. During 1859, the Atlantic Monthly published an article detailing the Leeds Devil folk tales popular among Pine Barren residents, or Pine Rats. Pine Rats. Pine Rats. People who live around here, so those guys over there. Or, or Pine Pineys, rats. yeah. Pine. Oh, it's a derogatory term. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 they're so offended. I'm sorry, you Pineys. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. You fucking rats. Pine Rat Pineys. Right. Pine Rats, you bastards. A newspaper from 1887 describes sightings of a winged creature referred to as the Devil of Leeds allegedly spotted near the Pine Barrens and well known among the local populace of Burlington County, New Jersey which is where we are. Pretty sure it's why. I know we crossed into that at some point. Whenever he went near it it would give a mostly unearthly yell that frightened the dogs. It whipped at every dog on the place. That thing, said the colonel, it is not a bird nor an animal but it is the Leeds Devil according to the description and it was born over in Evesham, Burlington County a hundred years ago. There's no mistake about it. I don't know what the fuck Evesham is now. They say Evesham and they say Leeds. So who the fuck knows? Right. Who knows? Actually, let me see where that is real quick. Can we make a quick pact to not like fuck with each other while we sleep tonight? Yeah. Well, yeah. Of course. Okay. Thanks. Well, do, I, I, I I sleep so fucking heavy that it's I, I wouldn't even I, w I wouldn't even consider it. <laughs> Thanks. Dude. I think somebody's fucking <laughs> traipsing around over there. Yeah. Um. I'm getting spooked. <laughs> It is spooky. <laughs> I'm getting spooked. <laughs> I'm getting spooked by these winged, hooved. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Um, spooky. Yeah, I never saw the horrible crit. I don't know who this is. This, oh, yeah, I see it's a newspaper. Okay. I never saw the horrible critter myself, but I can remember well when it was roaming around in Eversham Woods sorry, sorry. 50 years ago. And when it was hunted by men and dogs and shot at by the best marksmen there were in all South Jersey but could not be killed. There isn't a family in Burlington or any of the adjoining counties that does not know of the Leeds Devil. And it was the bugaboo to frighten children with when I was a boy. Bugaboo! Not the, see that, now bugaboo means mistake, but back then it meant the boogeyman. Bugaboo. It's a bugaboo. <laughs> it's one of my bugaboos. Um, yeah, reported sightings. These sightings I read about years ago. The wave of sightings in 1909. These are fucking cool. Let's see if they mention this part. Yeah, here, here it is. During the week of January 16th to 23rd of 1909, newspapers published hundreds of claimed encounters with the Jersey Devil from all over South Jersey and the Philadelphia area. Among these legend encounters were claims the creature attacked a trolley car in Haddon Heights and a social club in Camden. Uh, police in Camden and Bristol, Pennsylvania supposedly fired on the creature to no effect. Other reports initially concerned identified footprints in the snow, but soon sightings of creatures resembling a Jersey Devil were being reported through South Jersey as far away as Delaware and Western Maryland. Uh, the widespread newspaper coverage created fear throughout the Delaware Valley, prompting a number of schools, a num prompting a number of schools to close and workers to stay home. Really? Jesus. That's crazy. That Vigilante groups and a group of hunters roamed the pines and countryside in search of the devil. During this period, it is rumored that the Philadelphia Zoo posted a $10,000 reward for the creature. The offer prompted a variety of hoaxes, including a kangaroo equipped with, equipped with artificial claws and bat wings. That's awesome. Hey, I'm gonna get you 10, 10 grand. Back then, it was like $40 million, so. Right. Oh, man. You know, the one story, I don't know if it was in Wikipedia or not, but it was like that 19, like, because it was January 19, so it was the winter, and it was like, there were, people would find footprints, and the footprints would fucking stop. Right. So they find them in snow, yeah. and then it was like something just like flew away. And they would find them on like rooftops and shit, like they would see, you know, like that. I was like, that's like the most convincing fucking shit. I don't know where yeah. that was. Yeah, what, yeah, what would that be? So, like, they, well, so I, I guess in that fucking Camden area, but. Yeah, that's very interesting. Um. Yeah, alright, so. Hopefully, we hear some cool shit tonight. We'll see. Yeah. And it won't be me. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> it won't be me, I swear.
Oh, man. I wanted to see. It's kind of late. I don't know why the fuck I'm out here. I heard a fucking noise. fucking noise I have no fucking idea I just I don't like the fucking main road right now before but I heard a fucking noise I just seem like I hear it again <sighs> shit there it is again god damn it what the fuck oh, cold. oh motherfucker oh, it's not even that fucking cold I'm just I get fucking scared that noise. God damn it. this shit was last night. God damn it. God damn it. Let's fucking get up. See if Alan heard anything last night. anything last night there's something fucking like scratching at my fucking i walked walked down the road i thought i heard a screech oh my god i fucking heard and i came back and some was that's fucking scratching and banging at my fucking van like fucking crazy Jeez. jesus christ yeah i think i'll be coming back here again <laughs> i don't know yeah that's whatever that was fuck that
I don't know. I just heard some fucking screeching and shit, so. Screaming and hollering. 